what is up knights e just rick here back with some more dfo crash this time on my female grappler and i've saved the best for last at least aesthetically i have a lot to say about female grappler guys but uh, before we start guys i want to apologize for not releasing this video you know i said i would try to release one video a week uh, i can't always do that you know there's been a lot of stuff going on in the game and i i gotta tell you guys okay Although I have committed to making a lot of content, the only reason that happens is because I'm so passionate about playing the game first and foremost. So yes, the content is nice and I'm happy to give it to you guys, but I also really like DFO, so I want to play it as well. But anyway, guys, currently on my female grappler, you guys can see my level of gear. I have gone ahead uh, when we had the female fighter 3A events, you know, I went and got myself a full legendary set and I got some preliminary stuff you guys will see right here. I also have a couple talismans, which have been very very, very helpful but before we go any further i want to give a quick shout out to the guys who have goaded me forced me to make this video they're like rick you better have a video tomorrow uh mori kubo as well as smart cookie and uh shout out to the guy who said when he saw my face he couldn't believe it uh on stream so if you guys haven't been on the stream by the way go check it out uh aegis rick on twitch and i have a link in pretty much all of my videos if you guys want to see it but anyway guys Pros and cons, female grappler. Let's go. First and foremost, female grappler has what I would call the best 3A to date. I'm talking in all versions of the game. The aesthetic of the design, her 3A active, and even her passives themselves. All of these things shore up problems that might have existed with the play of female grappler. Next, guys, her turn heal is yet an amazing tool bereft of the male grappler that allows her to change some of her grabs instead into strikes, not always requiring a body to slam. This works excellently for combating lag issues issues that other grab focused characters like the male grappler and rogue have. Lastly guys, the chain connection is an amazing little system that allows female grappler to flawlessly chain her grabs against grab cannon opponents, working both on the ground and in the air. The reason that she's become so fluid to play is because of this singular chain. Now onto the cons guys, I kid you not, once upon a time this was my most despised character in DFO. Yes, nowadays she's well designed, but this comes after years and years of agony and several changes in order to actually have her be bearable to play in my opinion of course now although i just praised turn heal i do find it a very odd design choice not being able to toggle it mid dungeon the turn heal variants are vastly different skills with different uses and it sucks that you have to make that distinction before you even go into dungeon no the character that has skill augmentation has this limitation and lastly guys although the turn heal did make some of her skills far more usable it didn't affect all of them. Spiral and Cyclone are both skills which are horribly delayed unless you have a talisman, meaning that if you don't, you're less inclined to want to use these skills at all, at least I am. All right, guys, as has been a tradition lately, I have been showing some pivotal passives with this character. First and foremost, guys, is the sliding grab. You guys are gonna see basically any of the grabs that you can do, you can slide onto it, which is kind of nice. You're definitely gonna want to be able to do that. Hands down, one of the coolest things with this character is the chain connection. And this is something the male grappler does not have. And of course, I wanna bring up the male counterparts a lot in these videos because we will be showcasing both of them. But the chain connection basically allows you to chain your grabs together against people who are grab cannon which is uh, basically anybody who can't be flipped around anybody who basically remains stationary when you grab them is grab cannon and this allows you to chain your grabs together much more fluidly and the last thing i want to talk about guys is the main reason why this character isn't cancer anymore and okay we're going to talk about the history i have with this character because there was once upon a time where i was not so kind to this character and turn heal is going to be the main reason why i have been a lot more lenient and i have loved this character uh, since they've added this skill it basically changes you guys can see right here changes the animation of certain skills uh, which i'm definitely going to be showcasing so guys first things first you know what we got to do two plus two i did go one time already just to practice i haven't played it in a while but anyway guys this is the female grappler let me explain a little bit what this character is about like i mentioned about the turn heal we'll start the first round here with turn heal activated what it will do is change various skills that you have instead of turning them uh, normally being grabs they'll turn them into strikes you guys can see right there uh, that skill is normally a really long animation grab it turned it into a very very quick body slam which is very convenient when we talk about this kind of content because you don't necessarily want the holding capacity and you don't necessarily need uh, to have these long holding animations R don't forget holds are generally for the purpose of you know making your team basically holding the enemy in place so that your team can do more damage and you don't necessarily need that option all the time you just need the hit you just need the damage and generally you just need the aoe and you're going to be set and 
the turn heal really does fix that problem with this character. I have a history with this character. I've made uh, basically my old PvE series talked about this character and the big problem that she had. She didn't have turn heal. She didn't have access to some really useful skills. Uh, and she had a lot of very annoying skills. No, no other way to really put it. You can see a combo right here. Check out the 3A, baby. Oh my god, it is so awesome. That that skill really is amazing. Aesthetically and everything, at least. Oh, jumped away from me. And I jump right back into it. And my new skill right there does a ton of damage. So, there you can see, you know... Yes, she is a grappler type character. Yes, she has the ability to, you know, hold an enemy. Uh, but she also, you know, when you have the turn heal activated, has a lot of, uh, you know, she, she becomes a, almost a different character. Now, this is the unfortunate thing, is that you don't have access to the turn heal. Uh, you have to go back into town if you want the different build, which, you know, all you have to do is de-level it. But you have no access to these different variations of skills when you're, uh, you know, while you're in dungeon, which I think is is a completely, here is the body slam skill that I was using earlier. And you guys can see this is the other skill. Again, you're seeing you're seeing the difference between the skills, right? You, we're seeing skills that generally hold a lot longer, uh, that are just kind of doing more hits. You don't necessarily need all of that flashy or or holding capacity, like I was saying. So that's what turn heal can provide for you. That's why I really like the turn heal version is that I generally don't need the hold, you know, but that's not always the case. You know, you might be doing raids and stuff and you need the hold. The hold will be helpful. Well, obviously for this kind of content, it's not all that helpful. So, but uh, yeah, same thing with the wild cannon spike. It does this long animation and you, you see it's clear as day the difference. But like I was saying, the, the thing about the turn heal is that it, yeah, it's really awesome, but it's weird how you don't have access to both versions in dungeon. You have to, oh shit, I just missed that completely. Uh, you have to ch pick and choose before you even enter the dungeon, which I think is very flawed with the character. I think about other characters that have augmented skills, you know, characters like uh, Dimension Walker, characters like the male, male uh, brawler, characters who have augmented versions of skills that do completely and wildly different things if you augment them with via skill or something. And female grappler has an augmented system, although her augmented system has to be casted outside. It doesn't make any sense. I think it would be a lot more versatile for the character, or obviously would be, but uh, if she just had access to those skills, uh, oh man. She just had access to those skills uh, or variations in dungeon somehow, whether it be, you know, kind of how the male brawler does it is like have a very low cooldown skill to, to use in, instead. But And unfortunately, I think my 3A got uh, or 2A got canceled, so I didn't have it to use that time. But uh, you can kind of see the difference there. You know, maybe it was a little bit more subtle. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely when I'm playing solo type content, the turn heal is always on. I love the turn heal versions. Uh, but that also brings up my other point about turn heal. Although I love this skill, it also forces you to augment all of the skills. So yet uh, even more uh, limitations on the turn heal, uh, basically the augment system. Other characters that have augment system have the ability to augment when they want to. You know, sometimes they want it, sometimes they don't. Uh, for some skills, sometimes you always use this. Other times you might not need it. So it's, it's kind of like what I keep mentioning about the versatility of turn heal. It is a shame that female brawler or female grappler has to deal with that, but at the same time, for the most part, you're just going to keep the turn heal on uh, with solo content. So, anyway, hopefully I was able to explain turn heal. Let's talk a little bit about the chain connection, okay? Chain connection works against people who are grab cannon, which this guy is not because I'm literally grabbing him and throwing him. So, if you have the ability to grab and throw him, you can't use the chain connection. It really only works against the bigger type enemies who who actually have that limitation. And there you can see the aerial version has a little bit more range than the normal version. But yeah, when you fight against a guy like this who really can't be grabbed, you're going to be see me using the chain connection a lot more. Uh, and you guys can see right there, you hit with the grab, you hit with the chain connection. And that's basically how it works. So, And you can, you can really get some really decent combos like that. Don't always need to use it, obviously. You only have a certain number of these chains that you can use. So it's not like you're going to be spamming this all the time. But, oh, get some iframe right there. And that's the other thing about grabs, guys. So female grappler and grappling, uh, grappling type characters in general, generally they will get iframe whenever they grab. And that's kind of the, 
I think the main appeal of characters like this is that they have the ability to stick on top of a boss and basically just abuse their iframe and never have to get away from them because they always have iframe. I talked about this um, back in my last PvE series when I talked about the Vagabond. The Vagabond is a character who has a extremely abusive grab skill which she can use called soaring that she can constantly keep using and she is not even a grappling type character she's a striking type character who has one very abusive grab well this character is a grappler character obviously and she has a ton of different grabs that can be used for that purpose but that's kind of the nice thing is that basically you don't have to run the risk of being scared that you're going to get hit with an attack why because i could just grab him and iframe right through it or just keep using the chain connection keep look at how much iframe i have yo <laughs> like i i just straight up iframe the for like i don't know how long that was like the longest iframe you basically get in the game showing a little bit of the cyclone talents uh yeah you don't really necessarily get long iframes in this game you know you have basically have to time it very well but when you play a character like this you can definitely get some abusive iframe that you can obviously and this character is not grab cannon but uh yeah you get abusive iframe that you can just completely abuse to stay on top of a boss and uh, you know on top of the awakenings on top of your grabs you, you just have a lot of means of not taking any damage um, doesn't always work obviously if the boss is doing some type of gimmick attack like if you're fighting in a raid or something and a gimmick attack and you don't have somebody to grab then you lose that ability but for the most part guys this is a very very safe characters all the grapplers generally are and if you have a grab cannon type moves like many characters do you know Berserker comes to mind if he uses Bloodlust on an enemy who is Grab Cannon. Uh, he gets iframe from that too. So it's just something that you can just completely abuse. And the female grappler abuses it to the max when fighting bosses. Now one thing that you guys might be a little bit shocked about is that why why isn't Rick shit talking this character so much? Why you know, I, I you guys maybe remember back in the day, I, I I basically considered this character the worst character in DFO Bar None. Like there was not a, a worse character in the game. So how am I being so lenient on the character now? And basically what it boils down to guys is they have fixed a lot of my issues with the character, okay? My issues with the character involved being, you know, having tedious skills. I mean, she does have a couple tedious skills, you know? Like for instance, I still think this right here is the most ridiculous skill ever. It's even more annoying against people who, you know, you do the full animation on. I think that she still suffers from that. You know, if I didn't have the talismans on skills like, uh, you know the cyclone and the spiral i do find those skills to be extremely annoying to use without the talisman you know this is so much more fast and you can cover a lot more distance than you normally can without the talisman so yes i'm going to say that she does have a couple problems but mainly my problems were with, were with the characters that just felt so delayed and and all of that chain connection as well as you know even fixing some of the skills that were more annoying to use on the character all of those things have been sh fixed with the two skills that I keep mentioning. Chain Connection as well as the Turn Heal. They're just so abusive right here. Just getting some mega iframe right there. Hit the Wild Cannon Spike. You know, and she, she just plays so much more fluidly than she used to in the past. You know, it's, it's just something that I'm not even really going to mention it. If you guys remember back then, you know, I got a lot of flack back then. People got a lot of haters back then. <laughs> I, I definitely developed a lot of people resentment towards me after that because I was shit talking the character and quite frankly you guys can, you know what you guys can thank me for fixing this character okay because all that stuff bitching and shit I was doing uh, it basically doesn't exist anymore so you know they're not issues with the character anymore and I think the character is far better off than she was in the past due to that she's a lot more versatile of a character I still think she has room for improvement in terms of the things I keep mentioning about the turn heal and stuff like that but aside from that guys I don't have a lot of huge problems with this character you know she's very uh, you know I, I like doing look at what I just did right there dude I just chained like five different grabs together used all my chain connections and it was just so fluid and I think you don't really get that or you didn't get that in the past that's for damn sure and you don't really get that even with the male counterpart of this character you know there, right there you guys can see how easily you can chain some of these awakenings into the aerial versions but uh, so I do want to mention, you know, if you're expecting me to just start shit talking this character to no end, yeah, that's the, the ancient history. Not gonna be happening with this character, and it's gonna be, you know, only good, good things to bring up with this character because I think she's been changed really well. 
And she's not going to be to the level where I'm going to be maining this character. I love her so much. But I am going to say there's nothing really bad I can think of with this character in terms of all of the other skills. I really like using most of them after I got the Talisman. Cyclone Attack would have been a lot more uh, annoying. Or excuse me, Cyclone Suplex would have been a lot more annoying to use without the Talisman. Same thing with the Spiral. I felt like Spiral is so delayed without the Talisman. So I'm happy I got both of those so I don't have to complain about them. And without those things, I mean, I like using most everything except Air Clutch. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to keep going into the Black Shrine mostly because I don't feel like I respect this character's aoe's enough to go into stormy and i think she has a really good kit against bosses in general i think she has a good kit overall i'm not trying to sh bad mouth this character or anything it's just that uh, as far as her kit goes I, I do find it best suited for this type of content anyway so anyway guys let me talk about a little bit about my history with this character what what one thing I did mention about the cons of this character is that she has gotten so many iterations, okay? She has been through a lot to get to where she is right now, and trust me, she is not the same character she was before. And I, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate them taking a character that was, you know, very cumbersome, very annoying, and adding all of these utilities and things that make her much more fluid to play. And I think at this point in time, guys, with the addition of the 3-8... We have finally gotten to the point where I feel like female grappler is an awesome character to play. Despite me not liking grappler characters in general. These kinds of things, the aesthetic appearance of how this 3A is, dude, it is so freaking tight. Uh, and right there, not the great greatest time to use that move since... Oh, shoot. See, you do only get iframe when you actually initiate the grab right there. So you guys can see when I try to use the fling grab, which has like an extended holding. Oh, shit. Uh... When it has extended holding, you have to actually hit with your strike. You can't just hold this iframe forever. You do have to actually initiate with it. So that does take a little bit of skill. Also, casting some of your skills in the air will have different trajectories, like Cyclone Attack right there. Not really the best time to use that, but you kind of get the idea, guys. That's how the female grap plays. And hopefully, I was able to... Uh, showcase a little bit of that but yeah this character has gotten changed a ton and i really do appreciate this new change with the character uh, i do appreciate her new skills i think you know her passives let me talk a little bit about her passives uh her passives allow her to uh and this is a huge iframe as well allow her to ah, man i thought i was gonna be lined up better than that allowed her to do some things that she obviously couldn't do before uh, first and foremost, she has a basically an install type grab with the uh, suplex. So you guys can see suplex comes in and then I get a secondary attack on it, which is pretty awesome. I don't think it really actually provides all that much damage. I've tried to make that thing work for damage, but I don't think it actually gives you that much damage. But what it does give you is some combo potential and knockdown potential. Uh, the suplex is kind of used as kind of like a very quick knockdown effect. So... Uh, what you can get is, you know, it's really good for when you have a lot of enemies on the screen. You just want to get a quick knockdown, which is very helpful, you know, when you're not trying to get interrupted a lot. You can use the suplex for basically two different additional knockdowns on a guy, which is pretty awesome. And then the second thing that she got was, like I mentioned earlier, with the shoulder tackle. She has the ability to cast that in the air uh, to be able to get a different grab. And you guys can see I can link into a couple grabs. I think it links really well into the... Uh, the cyclone attack uh, because it allows you to change your trajectory you guys saw how earlier i i kind of casted it and that was a little bit far away to hit with it kind of changes the trajectory so you, that you can get really close to a guy and then ensure that you're gonna hit with it so i really do like that change both of her passives unlike most of the female fighters i feel like who basically got like hit or miss passives like nothing really changed all that much with this character i do think that those two passives in general are really really abusive man look at this and there i'm just i'm doing no damage with my one uh level one skills that i keep chaining <laughs> so <laughs> i definitely have a lot of stuff for utility but not any of those skills that i just used back there did any sort of damage so that's kind of funny uh, so yeah i can hit with something like this and then you know come back oh man can't really i frame that so You see, a better a better grappler would have actually, you know, used some iframe there. Oh man, I was gonna try to use the the three A. You can use the three A in the air as well. So 
Here we go. And there you can see the abusive iframe, man. But guys, female grab definitely hit the ground running with the female fighters. I think she was definitely one of the most popular characters for everybody when they saw the 3A and everything. It makes sense. It just looks so awesome in comparison to everybody else. Uh, where do I think she falls on my account personally? I don't think that I can afford to really gear another character, guys. I mean, my other female striker and female brawler are already, you know, I'm committing a lot of resources into trying to get them Sirocco. Well, they are Sirocco ready, but, you know, committed a lot of resources in, being, in, in doing that. And let me tell you, it is not something I want to just do for every character just because just it seems like they're, they're you know strong characters and i'm not trying to take anything away from this character but at the end of the day there's so many other characters i want to play aside from female grappler so uh but uh, trust me guys hopefully that you know you guys can see the kind of combos that she can do the kind of you know she's definitely more than what she used to be that's kind of the, like the takeaway i want to take away from this is that she's so much more than what she used to be and she has so much more combo potential than she used to have you know before it was almost i think that was my biggest criticism with the character is that she basically felt the same all of the, all the combos that you could do you know you only had one way to pop up into the air you only had a couple skills that you can use in the air you only you know now i have the skills like joint smash which i didn't even mention this skill this is a relatively new skill i mean <laughs> i say that it's probably like three years old but i didn't have it before and what it does is it pops you into the air it's a two-hit combo that pops you into the air you don't actually have all that many skills i mean you do like from the cyclone that pops you into the air as well, which sets you up for other grabs like Air Steiner and stuff like that. This one also pops you into the air when you have, uh, you know, so you have another option basically is what I'm getting at. You have options now. You have a lot more skills that you can use in the air. The shoulder tackle is obviously the one that's going to reposition you best to be able to combo. But there you can see the, the chain connection right here. I really do hate this skill though. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> my zero damage <laughs> but yeah you do have a lot of options oops to be able to uh, cast skills in the air which is awesome and uh, that right there is uh you can also uh, reposition the the new skill that you got which i think is pretty awesome you generally don't need to because the range is already pretty high so i think a good combo right there is into two-way right there joint smash into two-way Oh, again, I keep I keep thinking I can you don't get a, a whole ton of iframe when you pop into the air like that So but anyway guys, uh, there was a little bit of female grab action Like I said there the hype was definitely there when I made this character I don't think I can I can commit to actually gearing this character out very much more than I already have I mean, I got her a legendary set. That's more than I could say for most characters on my account. So um, and I think we're gonna have to stop there with this character But I do hope that you guys were able to see how her new skills kind of kind of work I think she she definitely has the potential to be a lot of fun It's just you know uh, You know one other thing that I didn't mention she is a fixed damage character So, you know relatively speaking gearing her is gonna be a little bit easier than most other characters I think this is somebody who you can definitely have as a main or as an alt very easily So if you're trying to you know make that that decision like oh should i bother should i bother with this character well i think it's a fixed damage character and you have a lot of options with that but this character is a well-designed character yes she is a grappler character yes she does suffer a little bit from the limitations of turn heal but i think once you kind of get past that you can definitely make a lot of combos the chain connection is also really nice basically what i'm trying to say here is guys this is the superior grappler to the male counterpart and that is bar none because i'm going to show you guys you know all the flexibility and nice things that i have out of this character uh, we're not going to see that with the male grappler but anyway guys thanks for watching there was my quick series uh my mini series i guess on the dfl crash on the four female fighters in the next video guys i'm gonna just introduce you guys to the next batch of characters we're gonna get and i think it's been pretty obvious i've been hinting towards it uh, in the past couple weeks here. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you nights later.